Welcome to the visionarywoman.com online media. Um, and I have seen one too many women not connected with their purpose and I've seen what that does to them mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, um, very much drains them and kind of saps them of their natural joy for life. And we need that in the world. We need feminine uh, consciousness and feminine energy alive. Uh, we need to bring feminine, uh, we need to bring the feminine more into the world. And if a woman isn't connected to her purpose, then she really isn't bringing forth what our world needs in order to have balance, to stop all the violence and the wars and the poverty and basically all the atrocities that, that go on today. Recommend for every woman to have a morning practice, some kind of morning practice where they can tune in to themselves, whether it be through a short meditation, and honestly, it can be as short as two minutes, be very short, whether it be through journaling, again, that can be short, that can be two minutes, it doesn't have to be a ton of time, uh, through some type of embodiment practice, that could be yoga, that could be dance, that could be simply just, you know, moving your body in a, in a way where you can connect to really feeling yourself sensually, um, it could be a quiet walk in your neighborhood or if you live near nature. Any of those things that help you to um, tune in to your inner voice and give you that quietude away from all the day-to-day -day action. That's really going to help a woman, um, number one, hear her feminine voice. Because what happens a lot is women are, are there's so much you know bombardment that we have going on with with media and internet and so forth that it can be difficult to actually hear your inner voice and i think once a woman actually starts hearing her inner voice her inner feminine voice that's when she begins to trust more and that's when the softening happens i think a lot of women um they put others first particularly if they're mothers and and, and um put their children first. I myself am a mother and, and so I can relate to that. Um, I think it's really important for women to really see that that five minutes, um, first of all, they're definitely worth it. Every woman is worth five minutes uh, of, of time for herself. Um, so that, that's more of a societal healing that we're going through right now is for women to really know and honor their worthiness um, so that, that comes through like what we're doing here today with you celebrating other women who have big visions and big um, uh, missions in life. And I think the more we have conversations around, first of all, admitting that maybe uh, you don't feel worthy, like outing yeah. that, bringing that out, and then um, putting yourself in a situation where you're going to be encouraged and inspired um, and, and reflected your your value, your worthiness. So being in um, uh, sister circles, uh, I highly recommend any type of women's circle that, that might exist um, either uh, in your community, your neighborhood, your workplace. Um, I think that's really, really helpful for women. It's a continuation of, of what we were just talking about is that first we have to out that with each other uh, that we have lived in the past in a situation of competition, you know, outing it, whether through through writing, through blogging, through um, media like you're doing here, um, through, through conversations at lunchtime or in a women's circle. Um, and then really, you know, talking about how this isn't serving any of us. The competition, the competition in the past really has happened because women have, um, in a way needed men for survival, for economic survival. I mean, that's really uh, the root of, of a lot of it. Um, and that's not the case anymore. So many women are working. So many women have their own financial means. Um, and women want to do good things in the world. They want to do good things to help people heal, to help people feel alive, happy, thriving. And in order to do that, we need each other. We need each other as sisters um, to support one another. And so I think having the conversation with women who you know um, 
and encouraging that or reaching out to another woman to uh, initiate some type of collaboration. Um, you know, it, it, it will take courage uh, to do that, particularly if you've kind of lived in a paradigm of competition. Um, but I do I do truly think there there is an awakening happening for women where they really see the importance of embracing each other as sisters and not as adversaries. When it goes to women's circles. I think that's really the first space um, for this to happen because um, I think women's circles create, well, first of all, the, the shape, a circle, creates a container of uh, one being held um, and it creates a, a safe container. And I think um, when women know that they're in an environment where they can be held and don't have to put on any show or any, um, you know, kind of false faces, um, that they will be honest. They are dying to be honest. I know this from being in women's circles myself. And once one woman is honest, it gives permission to all women in that room to be honest. And so if that's something you want to be a leader in creating that, then you yourself, that's all you need to do is you yourself be honest and it will create that ripple effect in that room. And then of course that creates a ripple effect outside of the room because TheVisionaryWoman.com. Watch our host of insightful video exchange interviews. Listen to the Visionary Woman Hotspot Talk Radio to empower your evenings and read fascinating articles of inspiration and perseverance, all with you in mind. Visit us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.